A, just take us through when uh, in 14 you actually believe that we might be good because that's hard to do as a Badger. Ooh, when in 14 did I think we were good? I actually think, Ben, it was when I came up. I can't remember what game I came up for for football and we hung out. Yeah. And you told you were like, I think we're going to be really good this year. And I kind of probably said like, okay, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've heard this before. Um, and then I have to actually look. I'm going to look up the schedule right now. Well, but the funny that, thing is while you look up the schedule – we went out that fall, and I remember sitting in the locker room with all these guys. I was like, "Hey, like, you know, I'm going out with Big Cat tonight. Like, you know, I, anyone want to come?" And I remember Frank and Sam being like, "Who the f- is Big Cat?" Like, they were like, "That's what I said." They, oh, that's that's right. You guys were oh, mocking no, him. No, I said no, that for go sure. Go back and check the tweets. He gave me he gave me a bunch of shit that weekend for wearing a knockoff barstool hat. Yeah, that's right. You had one that was so huge. You looked so goofy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. It about was that Sam. Hat. Sam was like, "Who the f- is Big Cat?" I remember yeah. when people said you were at the Oregon game, Big Cat. I was like, "So? Who the- I don't care." Yeah, like, who the f- yeah, is I Big was Cat? Sitting with with <laughs> Ben's crazy brother, just right. like he was screaming at every single person. I was like, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> uh, I think. All right, I'm looking through the I'm looking through the schedule right now because it, yeah, I remember it, it. There was that stretch in January where you guys struggled. If I'm if I'm correct, right? Uh, yes, we we were ass. Right, you were ass. But then it was then it was February when it was uh, the Michigan State or the Michigan State game, and then is it the Michigan game? Uh, that wasn't your buzzer beater game, was it? No, at that Michigan? was when Frank arrived. Frank arrived at Michigan. He was an absolute stud, and we were like, "Holy shit, he's good." Yeah, so it was right around then in February where I was like, I think this team is really, really good. And then the Big Ten tournament didn't go great. And then um, it was that night, the Oregon game was probably the first time where I was like, wait, this this feels different because you guys went down and the place was so loud. It was so, so loud. It was so much fun. I remember I got up to Milwaukee like three or four hours before. We were drinking. I was with Sylvie. We went to the game and I like – even when we were down, it was just like, this place is so loud. I feel like this is going to turn around. And I, I obviously have been a Badger fan for a very long time. I'm, I'm old. Class of 07. I remember the, I think it was 06 tournament. We played Pitt in Milwaukee and uh, Krauser beat us. Remember that team? Mm. with The Pitt with yep. uh, Jamie Dixon. So in the back of my head, I was like, this isn't a guarantee. We've had the Milwaukee game before and it didn't go well. Um but that crowd that night was so insane that I was like, we cannot lose this game. Well, and the comeback and everything, it was just the best. I talked to the Bradley Center uh, people who work at Pfizer now, and they told me, obviously, the Bucks played there in 01 for the Eastern Conference Finals. Marquette's played there forever. Everyone has told me that that is the loudest that they've ever heard that arena. Have you guys played in a louder arena? Probably the loudest for me. Absolutely. At least for Wisconsin, like, like at least on our side, yeah, <laughs> like I mean, on our side for sure. I mean, Big K, you go to a ton of games, but like you know, these like big games aren't like loud in these huge arenas. Like in terms of an no. intimate setting, have you been to a louder one? No, that was probably one of the loudest, and it was also like when you guys sometime in that February stretch, it was like it was clear that you guys could score, and that is very different than. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bo Ryan's Badgers the years before that, where it was like, let's just try to win this game with 55 points. And that was always the thing. Like, if you go back through our tournament, uh, it, you know, appearances before that, it was like very good Badger teams, good players, good teams. But <clears throat> they would get in the tournament and there would be that like eight minute stretch where they wouldn't score. And that would be it. You know what I mean? It'd be like, all right, now we're screwed. Game over. Like, we just couldn't buy a bucket for eight minutes at a time. But your guys' team, it was like, I know that there's guys who can shoot and who can get a shot by themselves at any time. So the confidence just went through the roof once I like once that clicked in my head. It was like, no, no, this is different. All these guys can get their own points when they need to. I like to score. There's, there's. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Defense has never been my. It's never been my thing. It's never been my, uh, my hat. I don't hang my hat on my abilities on the defensive end. I've always hung my hat on my abilities on offense. And we've talked about it already on this back. Like we had to learn how to play defense that year, but I don't feel like we really had to learn how to play offense. And that's where we, 
talked about like changing the culture and everything like that. Like that's really where we kind of separated ourselves from different teams. Cause there were stretches like the year before where dudes on our team just like couldn't score out there. And I'm sitting on the bench, like I can score, like put me out there. I'll, I'll get <laughs> shots up. I never, I never feared having to come back a bit against people that season. Cause I feel like we could score with the best teams in the country. So did yeah, you- that that's exactly what I mean. Like when you guys were down, what was it? 10 in the game? Down it was the half. first time, I, like down twelve for a typical Badger team, is That's basically game. like we yeah. gotta we gotta play a perfect second half here to have a chance. Like we need to just make them not score at all and grind it out. But down twelve with you guys, it was like no, I think we're good. Like we hit a couple threes, we'll be right back in this. Did you have a, a favorite moment throughout the fourteen run? I mean, like because obviously you were at the Oregon game, but I mean, we haven't been it, like. Were you a, you weren't a Badger fan in two thousand? So was it Arizona? No. What was your what was your moment? Yeah, it was that Arizona game. I remember I was at the bar. It's no longer um, it's no longer around Redmond's in Wrigleyville. That was a Wisconsin bar. And when um, was it the two threes that Sam hit against Arizona? You're thinking it, about the next that, year. Do I have that you're right? Think, you're thinking, about, thinking the about the next year. year. Yeah. See, this is all my my brain. Yep. I'm getting old. All right. So then I'm gonna have to refresh my my memory with the Arizona game. Um, the two threes in the Arizona game the next year was the best because I, Sam's not on right now, but I thought neither of those were going in. He, <laughs> he was throwing them so high in the air, and then they would just be perfect switches. And I was like, how the hell did that just go in the in the basket? All right, I'm going to pull up the Arizona game. Oh, That's yeah, one, okay, so that went one was overtime, like a yep. grind it out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So the Arizona game was an incredible game, um, but I think the Oregon game, yeah, was was – the Oregon game was it. Like that was such a fun game and such an incredible experience being there and having that like comeback. I was like, this team is for real and this team can do it. But you you thought we were losing that Arizona. There's no way as a Badger fan and alum that you thought we were actually eventually going to win that game with how it was back and forth, the grinded out. You thought we were going to get our hearts ripped out. Correct? I thought we were going to lose both Arizona games. Yeah, I thought <laughs> we were going to lose both the Arizona games, 2014 and 15. And so, because that's the other part about being a Badger fan and it's being honest, like, there's a point in the tournament where you get against a team that probably has some athletes that can out athlete us. And you're always like, okay, this is going to be different. Like, let's hope that we can hey. make the shots and play good defense. Um, and then you, you guys proved all of those things wrong. I mean, with the Kentucky game in 2015, it was like that, that team had all those dudes and you guys proved everyone wrong with that one as well. So it was like, yeah, the confidence just building up and man, I mean, it was, it was the best. Like I know it obviously didn't end, with a title, but the two year run is something I'll always look back at and just be like, man, that was so much fun. Um, so I guess for you, knowing that we had the great times in the two final four teams, is it suck again being a Badger fan? <laughs> oh man. This is like you wish you wish you knew it was the good old days when it was the good old days. Yeah. Uh yep. that definitely has dawned on me. That definitely has crept into my brain because you said <laughs> you, after they didn't win in 15 because i wasn't on that team that yeah we would never come close to a national title in basketball or football in your lifetime do you still believe that because i kind of do <laughs> yeah i mean i wish i didn't believe it i hope that luke fickle is going to change things and i hope that you know the basketball team gets back to to winning games in the tournament because that's you know friday night was brutal just absolutely brutal and like that is the standard I, i'm a realistic badger fan i don't we're, we're always going to be playing uh with one hand behind our back just in terms of the guys that are on the team are, are never going to be five star guys like every year in and year out we're not kentucky we're not going to be duke but we are a program that should compete at a high high level year in and year out so the little blip that we've had the last few years both in football and basketball sucks like that the standard for the last 20 years has been be a top 15, top 10 football team and be a team that can routinely get to the Sweet 16 and, and go from there. So, yeah, it's it sucks right now. I, I won't be – I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not fun, and I hope that uh, – I mean, I, I think I think Mac has, like, the future in mind, and I, I like that he's being aggressive, but I, I don't know what the path is to get back on track because we are off track right now. Yeah, I, I'm. I just like, I'm sad, and like, we don't have to get into guard or no guard, but like, it's no Sweet Sixteen in seven years. Like, at what point 
like, do we look at it and be like, all right, well, there's two Final Fours. Did we set a standard that's too high now? Because I think, like, if if, if you look at I talked to someone like, well, I expect to finish top four in the Big Ten and go to the NCAA tournament every year. There's only, like, there, Colgate's on the list of six teams that have made the tournament five straight years. And so at what point, I know like we have to win games in the tournament, but at what point, like, are we good just, like, average it's one pl- it's one thing to lose but to lose like that i mean that's different you know the way yeah. we lost Overs. the way we lost we got overmatched and that that's where it hurt it's one you know if we lose w- in the round of 32 by two to you know, that team whatever but right right it, it's it's what i was saying earlier like i i know that there are games that the badgers are not going to have maybe the same talent level but we had more yep. talent than jmu and we weren't prepared like, that was a game that if you watch, the first 10 minutes, they took us, they took it to us, and we just looked like we weren't ready for it. And it's like, that's what, that's the part that to me is inexcusable, where it's like, the preparation is just not there. The team didn't look like they were ready for the fight. And that is, that that that's what kills me. That's the part where I'm like, this is not, I expect better than that. Do you wish you, uh, like, if you could pick one team one college that like you wish you had the success of for the Badgers, football or basketball, what would you choose? So honestly, I've said this before, and I'm just being dead honest. I think the last five years, throw that aside because it has been bad. I think when we're at our peak as a program, both football and basketball, it is the best place in terms of sports. I know that we don't have the titles for it, but there are there are maybe two or three schools out there in the country that have the same amount of success in both basketball and football. Like we are, we were competitive when we go 17 straight uh, tournaments, like 20 straight bowl games. There are a ton of schools where it's like, oh, you're either a football school or a basketball school. And the Badgers were for 20 years there both. And I don't think that many other schools could say, oh yeah, we, we've been to a final four. We've been to New Year's six bowl. We've been like now the playoffs expanded if, we, if the playoff had been expanded 20 years ago, the Badgers would have been in the playoffs like eight times. So yeah. I wouldn't trade it. I just want to get back to what we were at. How do you like, – yeah. what's the question? How do you do that? I got to get rich. That, that's like honestly. the million dollar – Yeah, exactly. Money. In yeah. today's day we're and age – We're looking at YouTube you right now. Ben money. and I can't do anything. Yeah. Actually, yeah. what the hell? We should, we, should have, we should have set this up to have the Varsity Collective uh, yeah. do a sales pitch right now. I mean, shout out to Varsity Collective. That was tough that I did the, like, hey, we need people to donate, like, three <laughs> hours before we tipped off against JMU. Yeah, that was uh, bad People timing, were yeah. responding that tweet afterwards. Uh, that hurt a lot. But, yeah, I just have to I have to work harder and, and make more money uh, so that I can just give my money to players, good players, NIL deals. What's what's the number? Like, is it is it $100 million net worth that you're uh, willing to yeah, start I, investing? Yeah, I, I probably got to get around there, so I got some work to do. I got some work to do. I listen. I I I know that it's part partly on my shoulder, and so Frank, yeah, you got to chip in, Frank. You probably you probably I'll fucking hid your money away. Yeah, you're you're making all your friends buy dinner and everything. You got money ha- hidden away. Come on. It's it's somewhere. I don't know where, but like, <laughs> I'll br- I'll go find it for like I don't know. Give me, give me, give me something sexy. And I'll I'll give right. some money to it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just but like, what if somebody's like, sexy? Like, is sexy here and then just leaves? Yeah, and, that's like, exactly and, what and, it is. And they don't bring anything of like a championship. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, this is. I, a I don't want to sell so against the collective right now, but yeah, I, I, I'm you're trying. Against. I'm trying to make sure. It, Frank, there is no way you're giving okay, you're okay, donating okay, some on, kid, college kid five hundred grand. You are never doing that. Ben's out. Ben's out. For starters, Ben's out. Um, second of all, I mean, I'll go try to put together a group to give a kid X <laughs> amount of dollars. Like, I feel like, yeah. I feel like I could, I could, I could sell, I could sell to some people. Like, you don't think there's people already doing hey, that? This kid's pretty good. How much, I mean, how much would you pay Ben, Ben and Josh of your zero. own? Like, let's, let's do a scale here. Zero dollars. So you don't care that much. Do I have a no, trust I, fund? Like if I have trust fund, I'm throwing that around. Yeah, like I, I want to be a hero. Like I, I want to yeah. be, I want to be Kellner. I'm Ted. If I'm Ted Kellner, I'm, I'm paying people, and uh, I'm in the meetings. I've always wanted to be the bad guy. I just hate now that the bad guy is nil. Like I've always wanted to be the person to like, you know, actually like slide the cash to somebody at a diner. Yeah, on the I've always line, said, the Miami guy. On the I've always line. said like if, 
before NIL, I always said, if I ever become a coach, Ben's going to be my bad guy for sure. Yes, I've always wanted. <laughs> he has to be. Josh is going to be the assistant it, coach Frank, that I turn to. Yeah. yeah you got to be the coach. You, you got to coach the Badgers. And then, yeah. I, and I told Josh, I pay... Josh has to be on my staff. So I can turn yeah. and yell to him after every single play, like, "Why didn't you make him better at basketball?" <laughs> yeah, it's all Josh's fault. Yeah, <laughs> would yeah, you be in I, favor of that, Big Cat? Yeah, I'd chip in too. Like, I listen. If you told me that we had like a no doubt kid who was gonna p- stay for two years, I would open my up up my uh, wallet for sure. I spend money on the dumbest shit, so like, <laughs> why wouldn't I do it on that? <laughs> I'm not happy with anything else in terms of my sports life, so. Um, the answer might change when Frank and I have Caleb Williams winning Super Bowls for us. But until that <laughs> happens, yeah, I got to just do this.